I'm recording this video to show you how to solve uh, a system of equations, a uh, system of linear equations in uh, uh, using Excel solver. Assume that you have like six unknowns and six equations in this that I have. Uh, you may have more than six unknowns, six equations. In Excel, you can have up to 300 unknowns and equations it can solve for you. Uh, in this case, uh, I have um, like the coefficients as like, for instance, for the first equation, one one minus two one and three and minus one i have uh, the right hand side as 420 going down so i have six equations uh, i already uh, have them as a table so i already have them i'm going to go on over there and describe the table so i'm going to copy the table from my document and paste it in here so in this table actually i'm looking for value of a b c d e f uh, and then I put the sum of them here. Uh, I have the coefficient of each variable, like coefficient of A, B, C, and then and then I have, I'm gonna calculate the sum product here. Uh, I have the right side as 420 minus 15 minus three and 16. So let, let's start with um, having, adding, so again, the computer will generate the values for A through F at this location in A2 to F2 in this example. So what I want to do, I want to say, okay, I'm going to say equal to uh, sum of everything I have here. So sum of all these guys. And then parentheses close. Uh, down here, I want to use the sum product because I just want to create these equations here, A plus B minus two C. So I'm going to say is equal to sum products. In sum product, we have to give it two arrays. So the first array will be here and then multiply this where the values needs to be calculated, which is here. Now, because I wanna drag this one down and I wanna keep the row constant for all of them, so I'm gonna put a dollar sign after each letter. So A through F will be actually stay the same for every row. So I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna examine this. For instance, down here, you can see it still is the same row at the top, but multiply by the coefficient, which is keep changing for each equation. So down here I have the sum of everything here. The rest of them I have the sum product. So in order to solve this unknowns and equation, click on the Excel solver that you already have it. The first thing that you do is that you set the, the equation. So down here for me would be, I wanna maximize the max of this. Again, this is just a dummy equation we created. Maximize the sum of this using this by changing the thing that's maybe change would be the variables, like from here to here, changing this. Okay, what types of um, constraint I have? So the constraint I have is actually equality constraint. So you can say add everything in this column should be equal to everything in the last column. So this is gonna enforce the equality then press OK. Make sure that you check off make unconstrained value but non-negative because we can have negative numbers and then click on solve. So make sure this is checked off. So it actually generate a solution for us and this is how we solve six equation and uh, six unknown. Thank you for watching this video.